in today's video uh, we will be making this sci-fi scene in blender actually i don't have a separate name for this artwork so kindly please suggest some name in the comment section in your web browser open pixels.com and uh, search for galaxy wallopers and download any of the galaxy wallopers which you like which you like the most or you can use the same image uh, that i used for the project Delete the default cube and add a meta ball into the viewport. Head over to the front view and with the help of move tool, move the meta ball a little bit to the left. Make sure it is properly aligned with the line. Duplicate the meta ball and move it to the right side in such a way that both the meta balls look like conjoined. Now go to metaball properties and change the resolution to the exact values as shown in the video. These values make sure that the surface of the metaball looks smooth in both viewport and render. Select the camera and press Ctrl, Alt and 0 to align the camera to the scene. Switch the render engine from EV to Cycles. Select CPU or GPU, enter viewport and render max samples to 128. Uh, in color management, change the look to very high contrast and view transform to standard. And in wall properties, reduce the color to all the way dark. Select the point light and change it to area. And change its shape from rectangle to disk. Increase its size to 0.5 meter. Selecting the area light, press Alt R and then Alt G to bring the area light to the center. Go to right side view and uh, move the area light beside the meta ball and rotate it in the direction facing the meta ball. Uh, come over to the camera view and scale the area light in such a way that it does not go past the boundary of the meta ball. Uh, go to render mode to get a look of the scene. For shading the scene, head over to shader editor. Select the meta ball and press new. Select the principal VSDF shader and press Ctrl plus T. If it does not appear in your case, then head over to edit, then preferences and add-ons and uh, select no triangular add-on. Uh, download the image texture from link in description and select it. Join the image texture to the emission. Join generator to vector. The texture look quite weird for now. To fix the issue, change the projection from flat to box. Play with the blend values until you are satisfied with the final result. Add a point light to the top left corner and the bottom right corner of the scene so that the rendered image does not look flat. Make sure to change the radius and power values of the point light. Uh, this helps in spreading the light across the metaball to get a more better look. Select the point in the area light and insert the exact hex values as shown in the video. For a more better look, add some volume matrix to the scene and reduce the density to 0.02. You can also adjust uh, the transmission value of the principal BSDF shader to get a glowing kind of look in your scene. Uh, now let's render the image to get the final output. And that's all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new. See you all in the next video. Till then, stay tuned and keep learning.